Hey, what's going on everybody? Do you notice anything different? I took down the uh, foam in the background because honestly, it was really pointless and I felt like it kind of served no purpose and a lot of the foam that I have is actually, you can't see. It's in front of me and on the right side of me. Um, but that kind of, I don't like the way that it looks. I'm gonna put some uh, maybe posters or something up like that, but right now it looks really bland. So sorry about that, but today we're gonna be doing a video on the SSLE channel strip, and this is a plugin by Universal Audio, and I know Waves has one too. If this is sort of out of your price point or budget, uh, get the one by Waves, because it's really good too. They're exactly the same layout. I do think the one by Universal Audio sounds better, just because you know it's probably a little bit more professionally crafted. No offense to Waves, love Waves plugins. You guys know I use them all the time, but I really like how this sounds. We're gonna run through it and uh, I'm gonna show you how to use it. So I did already have this mix, but what we're gonna do is take out the plugin. I had the Manly Vox box on this, um, but we're gonna take that out, add in the E-channel strip, and it's really cool because it's an EQ and compressor and exciter and all sorts of different stuff. It can really fatten up a vocal, make it sound full. Um, so I really like that, and I also used it on the master too. Uh, so I'll show you how I used it in both instances. All right, guys, so we are in Logic now, and I have this soloed out. This is the verse two of a song that I'm already done with, but this is more for demonstrational purposes. And like I said, I have the Manly Vox box here. I'm gonna take off all these effects and I'm actually gonna take out the Vox box, and then we're gonna add in the channel strip. Like I said, I do have a little deductive EQ going on here, nothing crazy, actually really nothing crazy at all, um, and we're gonna throw in the uh, channel strip. So you're gonna click on this, you're gonna go down here, Universal Audio, and then we're gonna find the SSL E channel strip. Okay, so this is the general layout of it and um, just adding it, I'll show you what it sounds like just adding it because again, this is emulating a uh, actual hardware channel strip. So it sounds like the hardware just adding it alone. So that's gonna give it some different character. So this is what the verse sounds like without it. You're playing games with my heart now. Said you love for some do. But I'm older and wise now And understand you're true So this is with it, but I haven't messed with anything yet. Just the character alone of the channel strip. You're playing games with my heart now Said you love for some do But I'm older and wise now and understand your true. So hopefully you guys are listening with headphones and even if you're not, you can probably hear the difference. It just adds some warmth and uh, some character to it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start pressing some buttons and we're gonna tweak this and really make it come to life. So I'm gonna move right to left actually. Um, might seem counterintuitive, but it's just the way that I've always worked was always doing EQ before compressing and the dynamics and the compressors over here. Uh, and I'm just gonna run through what I do with this plugin. I'm not saying that I'm gonna talk about every single little button on it, but uh, I will run through how I use it. So first off, you wanna obviously make sure it's on by either pressing the power button or pressing this up here. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go to EQ in and click this because this is actually going to affect the uh, vocal and then you can start tweaking it and you'll hear the difference. But if you do not have this clicked, you'll not hear anything changing. It's funny, I thought I was mixing this one time and I wasn't, um, but like in my head I thought I was and I was like, oh, that sounds good, but I wasn't even doing anything to it, which is pretty funny, you might run into that if you don't click this. So we're gonna click that in and usually what I do is click compressor in and then pre-dynamic and that allows the EQ to run into the compressor. Um, for now, I'm gonna leave the compressor off so that'll turn the pre-dynamic thing off too. So you do have to click this first and then click pre-dynamic. But from here, we can start tweaking the EQ and shaping the sound. So over here, you have the different frequencies that you can sort of boost. So you can go over here to 10, 14, 15, 16K and uh, sort of tweak that by adding some dB over here. So what you wanna do is 
change the frequency you want to affect, and then start adding or subtracting. So over here, we're going to go to about 14 or 15, because I kind of like that top end sort of sound. You're playing games with my heart now. Said you love for some do. But I'm older and wise now. And understand your true. Okay, so that sounds pretty good to me right there. Um, boosting quite a bit, but normally what I'll do is run it into a de-esser, so it's really not a huge deal if uh, you boost a little bit. And this is kind of like non-destructive, I found. Like certain plugins really like ruin like the top end. Like certain EQ plugins, if you really boost it, it can sound really harsh. Um, I'm boosting this quite a bit and it's not really falling apart or sounding too s -y, so I really like that about this plugin. So down here, I'm going to kind of just sweep the frequencies and see what I want to accentuate. And I like 3K, really. I kind of like how that sounds. If you do too much, it can sound a little harsh, but um, I'm just going to go around here and figure out what I want to boost. You're playing games with my heart now. Said you love for some do, but I'm older and wise now, and understand your true. Okay, that sounds pretty cool to me. So that's pretty much boosting around 3K and 1.5. So that sounds really cool to me. Right here, you can switch between black or brown, and I think that just changes the sound of it. I'm not honestly 100% sure. I really don't mess with that all that much. Now over here you have the lower mid frequencies. By the way, HF is high frequencies, high mid frequencies, low mid frequencies, and then you have the low frequencies. Uh, if you didn't sort of get that, it's really top to bottom or bottom to top, whatever way you like to work. Okay, around 200, I know I haven't gone here, but I usually kind of just jump around. Uh, around 200 is usually pretty boxy, so I'm gonna cut some of this out and see what it sounds like. You're playing games with my heart now. Said you love for some do. Okay, that sounds pretty cool, but uh, it's a little bit thin, so maybe we can add a little bit in the mid range. So this is around 1K. Uh, maybe we'll switch this to 800 and keep this around. I don't know, a thousand. Let's see if we can add a little bit and see what happens. You're playing games with my heart now. Said you love for some do. But I'm older and wise now. And understand your true. Did I tell you I loved you? Did I say that I care? Baby, I won't desert you. But honestly, I'm scared. You're playing games with my heart now. Okay, so I did a little bit of tweaking, and this is what it sounds like with these settings. You're playing games with my heart now. Said you love for some do. And this is what it sounds like without the plugin. You're playing games with my heart now. Said you love for some do. So obviously a very dramatic difference. And I always stress this. You might think that you have a bad vocal take, but that's not the case. You might think it's the way you sung it, but you might have done a perfect take. But if it's not really brought out with an EQ, uh, and compressor, then it's really uh, not going to sound the way that you first envisioned it to. Kind of get dialed in with the mixing and it'll really help out uh, your vocal takes and you'll be more pleased with the sound. So now what we're going to do is engage the compressor and we have pre-dynamic, so this is going to run into the compressor. I don't know why, that just makes sense to me. People do it the other way around and um, that's fine too, I guess. I, I don't know, uh, th truthfully, but that just this makes more sense to me in my head, so I've always done it this way. Okay, so we're gonna go with like a three to one ratio, and then we're just gonna bring this back a little bit and just get a little bit of compression in, just to sort of tame the vocal. And it's really not saying super loud or uh, has a bunch of different peaks and lows, so uh, it's not really gonna affect it all that much, uh, just based on the fact that it's not uh, getting really loud at certain points. 
You're playing games with my heart now Said you love for some dude But I'm older and wise now And understand you're true So that sounds pretty good to me. I actually just engaged this right here and uh, I honestly don't know what this does. All it says is fat I, and I just feel like it fattens up the vocal and you can see this release button sort of get a little larger. So I don't know what exactly that does, but it does seem to add some fullness to the vocal. And that's really all I do with this plugin. I really just use the EQ over here, make sure it's engaged, make sure the compressor's engaged. And then I use the uh, dynamic section over here and you can actually go down here and expand too. You can use this as an expander. I don't really uh, do that probably because I don't know that much about it. So I don't want to ruin the vocal. And that's kind of like the story of my life uh, with plugins. Like I know a decent amount about them, but not like everything. So I just, the stuff I don't know about, I really just don't touch. And uh, I'll probably learn about it and then do another uh, video on that. But down here you have uh, some filters too for an EQ section too. So that's really cool. You can sort of roll off some top end or some of the low end right off the bat. We're already doing that with a channel EQ, so not too worried about that. Over here, you have some phase inversions that you can do. You have a pad, so um, different options for gain, for the input, mic or line. So other than that, that's uh, really it. That's all I'm gonna cover in this particular video. Um, let's listen to that in context with the song. You're playing games with my heart now. Said you love for some do But I'm older and wise now And understand you're true Did I tell you I loved you? Did I say that I care? Baby, I won't deserve you But honestly I'm scared Cause oh my heart It Alright, so that's the gist of this plugin. That's the gist of the song. Um, I am working on an EP right now. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be EP or like an album. I have like three songs fully done that I'm really proud of and this being one of them. So uh, stay tuned for the music. It will come very shortly, but in the meantime, I'm going to be doing videos like this so that you guys get something out of it, and uh, hopefully you learn something from this video. If you're thinking about getting the plugin, honestly, for what's in this plugin, I think it's really worth it, and uh, it's worth the money. And what the sound is, it's literally emulating a hardware compressor and EQ, this channel strip, um, so you really don't have to spend the money on that and people can say whatever they want. Well, it's not going to sound exactly like that. It sounds pretty damn close. Um, so, you know, Universal Audio does a good job with their stuff. And, uh, anyway, if you got something out of this video, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. It helps a ton and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.